Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 19th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the WHERE clause and uh, we've seen the WHERE clause in action quite a lot you know now that we've uh, you know discussed uh, the comparison operators and the you know logical operators and we know what the purpose of where clause uh, in you know our queries is but you know i just thought that since it's such an important clause i should have a separate tutorial on it right so the where clause as you can see it is used you know when you have to specify a condition that has to be obeyed while you know data is being pulled from your tables so you know we've seen you know how the where clause works and you have to use it with the select query and uh, you know another application of where clause is that you know it's also used to you know perform join operations and uh, we're going to talk about joins later on and you know the kinds of joins and how where clause allows us to join tables but you know um, it is used for that too and uh, it's it's also used with the update and delete queries so it's not just used with the select statement it's also used with the update and delete statements and uh, we're gonna see how it functions uh, there when we discuss the update and delete queries and the syntax of the where clause is pretty simple and the reason why I've placed it in square uh, brackets is because uh, it's optional you know it's not necessary for you to have a where clause in your uh, you know query if you're pulling out all data and if you just want to see data as it is in the table then you do not have to use the where clause only if you want to reduce the result set to you know a reduced value by imposing some you know restrictions or you know by you know placing some conditions then you have to use the where clause and i'm just going to show a couple of examples to you guys of the where clause uh, in the mysql environment you know just to sort of reiterate or you know emphasize further on the points that I've already made in this uh, presentation and in the last few tutorials. So I've got my MySQL workbench here and in the test database I have the employee table and you guys are familiar with the data that's there in the employee table and the structure of the employee table so I'm not going to waste any time and you know showing the structure to you guys again and I'm sure you guys are also bored of the describe and the select star statements by now. So let's just jump right into an application of the where clause. So I'm going to type in the asterisk symbol here because I want to see all data from all fields. I mean not all data but you know data from all fields and then I'll type in the from keyword and uh, specify the name of the table which is employee and on the next line I'll type in the where clause and I'm going to find out you know details of all employees who have age greater than uh, 25 right and uh, I'll put in a semicolon to terminate the statement when I press the control enter key combination I see you know Howard has age 29 Stan has age 26 and Roger has age 32 so we get only those values that satisfy this condition and this is one condition and you can have as many as you want you can join conditions using the logical operators that we discussed in the last tutorial and there are lots of other fancy things that you can do you know by now I'm sure you've already started experimenting with the logical operators and the comparison operators you've started combining them together to create complicated conditions so you know you ha you can do all of that but to sort of implement those conditions in your queries you need the where clause right so that's what the where keyword does in SQL and it's really important and uh, I'll just demonstrate another uh, query to you this time I'll use the name field and uh, I'll use the equal to symbol and uh, since name is a character field I have to you know type in my value within single quotes and I'll check out data for Kurt right and I'll press control enter and there you go you know the condition is obeyed by just one row so you know the employee's name is obviously Kurt and the ID is 1915 and uh, the age is 34 and the email address is there and Kurt well there is no data available for the salary field for Kurt right so that's it about word clause I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one